I used to run cross country in high school. God knows how many miles I ran while I was in the military. But I remember in cross country, always wondering when my second wind would come in. They always talked about it, right? But then there was that pain I was feeling in my side. My legs, they, they begin to stiffen up. My lungs, they felt like oxygen was turning into fire. It was so easy to find ways in my mind how I could cheat or actually quit the race altogether. By the time I'd reached this point, I was definitely too far to stop. And where I started, it wasn't even comprehensible, but it sure seemed better than where I was at. Typically at this point of the race, I'll be running through some woods, through a, a trail with possibly someone in front of me or nothing but just the trail. But then I could see an opening at the end. It would be at the last stretch in an open field where the finish line was clearly visible. This is when you've passed your second wind and everything inside of you is wanting to stop. But the finish line, it's ahead. It's in clear view. At this point, nothing behind me matters anymore. The only thing I can do is to stretch and press and push with everything that I have to get to the finish line. Whatever I felt when I started the race, however I felt when I first started running, all of my training and everything that I've learned in the past, at this moment, is all behind me. All I could do now was see what is ahead of me, something I have yet not attained. And the only way I could get there is to keep going. If I even dared to look back, I'd actually slow down or quite possibly I could trip up and fall, putting me even further behind. When you're running a race and you spot the finish line, the mark, and everything in you is pushing to go forward, let's face it, at this point, no one runs to the race to come in fifth place. You run to win. The truth is, no matter how far you've come, you're still like everyone else in the race. You haven't achieved crossing the finish line. Paul teaches us in the Bible in Philippians 3, 12 through 14, in the New Living Translation, it says this, I don't mean to say that I've already achieved these things or that I've already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I've not achieved it, <laughs> but I focus on this one thing, Whoop. forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Philippians 3, 12 through 14. Today, you may be running hard in a race. It's so easy to look back to see who's trying to catch up to you or may even pass you. It's easy to keep pushing knowing how hard you've practiced and pushed your body. It could even be so tempting to cut through the woods on a shortcut and cheat. It might even be a strong consideration just to quit the race altogether, even though you know how defeated you'll feel and how you're gonna let your team down. I want to encourage you to stretch, to reach, to press, to push. Keep your head up, focus on the goal, see that finish line, and don't let anything distract you from reaching it. Not you, not an opponent, not even the fact that the finish line seems like it could be a million miles away. The good news in this race is that you're not alone. Many are cheering you on, believe in you, and know that if you keep going, you are going to cross that finish line. What are you stretching towards? Do you see the goal, the finish line? Maybe you've lost your way and you've gotten off the path and you might need help getting back on track. My name is Matt Krupp and I'm a board certified NLP practitioner, hypnotherapist, life and business coach, as well as a medically retired wartime veteran. I work with active duty military veterans and their families to overcome PTSD and suicide ideation as well as a lack of purpose, achieving a positive re-entry or even a redefinition into civilian life. Our unique approach combines the latest in neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, and hypnotherapy with the power of purposeful community, giving our clients the tools, the training, the mindset that they, you, need to succeed. Now, if you're a veteran, active duty, family member, or just someone ready, reach out to me and let's have a quest call to discuss how I can help you not only win this race, but help you to endure, to stretch, to press, and to finally win. At Veterans Coaching Alliance, we're changing lives one veteran at a time, and we're empowering them to do the same.